guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shay. Thanks so much for watching. Um, this channel has been a very long time in the making. I pretty much spent the entirety of 2013 trying to prepare myself to get this rolling and uh, I am still working on getting a little little thing here and there tweaked, but I um, figured I'd go ahead and just get this started because I have a lot to talk about, a lot of videos in mind that I want to do, and um, I think if I just keep waiting for everything to be perfect, then it's never going to happen. So, yeah. Um, my first video, this is going to be a um, empties video, which is, um, if you're not familiar with it, basically it's just a bunch of products that I've used up, um, skin care, makeup, hair care, stuff in the shower, what, what not, and um, yeah, I have a whole bag <laughs> full of them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly, um, I'm going to show you each product, I'm just going to briefly give you my thoughts on them, and um, whether or not I would buy them again. So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I have, this is actually um, a makeup wipe from the brand Skin. Um, these are more, like, they're called cleansing gloss, so they're not um, specifically like makeup remover wipes. They're more like, um, if you don't have time to wash your face, they're the ones that really, really foam up. And I really do like these. I actually started getting these from my... Um, little black bag subscription, but they're really, these are like $15 for a pack of 30, which is ridiculous, so yeah, um, but I really, really do like these, they're really convenient, just, I mean, if you're really tired, you don't want to wash, or you don't need to wash your face, like if I don't wake up, if I don't, excuse me, wear makeup every day, if they were cheaper, I, I mean, if they ever do go on sale, I'll probably stock up, but yeah, I really do like these, and I would repurchase these. Okay, the next thing is a um, the Body Shop Body Butter. This is the coconut um, scent. And this is actually kind of a big thing for me because I constantly buy body butters, lotions, hand lotions, everything. And, like, I have so many that I never use them up. But I actually just got this one, um, like, right before Christmas. And it's just so small. Usually the other ones I have, I had another one, but it's like they're really big, so they take forever to, to use up. This one I actually kept by my nightstand, and so whenever I was like in bed watching TV or, you know, editing or doing something on the computer, um, I just reach over and, you know, put it on my hands, put it on my knees, because I do have psoriasis, my elbows, and yeah, it smells really good. I am not um, a fan of coconut. Like, I don't really like coconut. I don't like eating coconut, but I do like how it, it's like soothing. Like, I like coconut oil. So yeah, I definitely would repurchase this one. And this, you can't, <laughs> the, uh, the top is so, um, worn off because it was in the shower. This is the, the Lush Ocean Salt. This is the small version, 4.2 ounce. Um, absolutely love, love, love this stuff. This is, um, the, uh, exfoliator that I use for my face. I don't particularly like it for my body because I don't think that it's rough enough, you know, like on my legs, they're, they, I think that they can re- Woo! Withstand, like, more exfoliant, you know? Like, this one is very, I think it's very gentle, but it's sort of harsh enough that it really gets off the skin, but it doesn't irritate, like, my face. So, yeah, I have actually a, the full-size big tub in my shower right now, and I think I have, like, a fourth of it left. So I absolutely will continue to repurchase this. Next up, I have a conditioner, and this is the Redken All Soft Heavy Cream Conditioner. I love this stuff. It is pricey because, you know, it's not a drugstore brand, but um, I absolutely love this stuff. I use this sort of like as an everyday conditioner, even though I don't wash my hair every day. But, um, like, when I'm not in the middle of trying some, something up, something out, you know, something new out that I bought, either from the drugstore high end or I'm not doing a deep conditioning mask or anything, I will definitely uh, buy this. I actually have the big tub right now in my shower with the pumps. So, yeah, I would definitely buy this skin. And going along with the hair care, this is the Clean Scalp and Hair Therapy. Um, this is the Strong Lens one. This is the shampoo and conditioner. Okay, when I got these, I absolutely love these. These are from the drugstore. They're like, I don't even know, like $5 maybe. Um, these were absolutely amazing. They cleaned my hair. They made my hair feel, they made my hair feel clean and um, very moisturized and just, it didn't um, make my hair any more frizzy, any more curly, any, you know, anything. But then I think that I got really used to it really fast because after like a month, they completely, like, they went from being amazing to just horrible. They stopped working. They stopped making my hair feel clean. I, I, my hair felt greasy after I used it. It just, I don't know, I think that my hair just got used to it, which is weird, because I never use the same shampoo and conditioner twice in a row. Um, 
Sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's my son screaming. <laughs> He's watching TV in the living room. Anyway, yeah, so um, I think I just got used to it. Um, I did buy it recently. This, again, but not the strong lens one. I think it's like the moisture one, but I haven't used it yet. So um, I will definitely let you guys know um, how that goes. But, yeah, I would repurchase these if they start working again. Okay, the next thing I have is a Chi Iron Guard. This is a heat protectant spray. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, this was like my third one of these. Um, but I probably would not repurchase it again, even though I really like it, because I just recently, um, as of the last, the last couple months, I got that Tresemme, the one, the Tresemme heat protectant one that everybody, I think everybody on YouTube talks about. And it's like... A fourth of the price and it works just as well I don't notice anything you know less appealing about it I think it, it I mean the scent is good it works it makes my hair I mean it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy or weird or anything so yeah I definitely would not repurchase this probably unless maybe it was on a, like a crazy sale or anything because I really like the other one I have right now okay Going along with the hair, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the Floral and Flirty Blush. Absolutely holy grail dry shampoo. I have tried several dry shampoos, and I will seriously tell you that this stuff is the best you're going to find. <clears throat> it does live a little bit of a white cast, but that, I mean, once you just let it set and soak up all your oils, and then, you know, um, finger through your hair, brush through your hair, it totally goes away. It gives me volume, which I clearly need in this thin hair. Yeah, I love the smell. This is my favorite scent, the Floral Flurry one. I also have the, I don't know if I have an empty one, um, the Wild, the Leopard Print one. That one I like as well, but yeah, this is my favorite one, and I will continue to repurchase this for as long as they make it. <laughs> <coughs> Next up, I have these. This is the, um, the Pond's Wet Cleaning, what Cleaning? Cleansing Towelettes. This is this, the Pond's Makeup Remover, and the little, this is sort of like the pinkish... Well, this was just a small, like, a sample. I, I really did like these. They're not, um, how do I explain this? <laughs> you know, most makeup wipes are just kind of flat. This one has, like, sort of, like, the the stitching, like, thick toilet paper would have, you know? So it, I feel like it really kind of um, removes all my face makeup good, but it was still very gentle. Like, I could go over my eyes with it as well. So, yeah, um, I would repurchase these. Next up, I have a Nivea Lip Butter. Um, this is just the, the classic sort of like the non-scented one, Smooth Kiss. Um, yeah, absolutely. This stuff, this is like the best lip butters that I have pretty much ever come across. I have one on my nightstand right now, and I have two over there on my desk. Yeah, so I would absolutely continue to repurchase this. Uh, moving on to makeup now. Uh, I have a professional um, primer from Benefit. This is my Holy Grail primer. It's the only primer I use, the only primer that I feel really does exactly what I want it to do. Um, makes my makeup stay on longer, makes my pore smaller, my makeup going smoother, and I absolutely will continue to repurchase this um, for as long as I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> Next up, I have, this is the Olay Total Effects Eye Transforming Cream. This is just the Olay, the Olay Eye Cream. For some reason, I don't see a huge difference when I use it, but for some reason, I love this stuff. Like, this is, I think, my third or fourth one, and I have one in my bathroom right now, and, um, I don't know. This is just, I really like the Olay brand. It's gentle. My, I have, very, when you, when you hear someone say that they have sensitive skin, it's nothing compared to my skin. I mean, my skin is allergic to water, to water, to soap, to anything new, so this is just so gentle on my eyes that I just really, um, I'm drawn to it. So yeah, I probably will continue repurchasing this um, until I find something else that I like better. Okay, and next up I have a mascara. This is the uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. Um, I really like this one. When I, yeah, I remember using it a while ago. Yeah, I really like this one. I think this was like one of the better, like the top ten drugstore mascaras. I do have another one. Actually, someone got me one for Christmas. I have not used it yet because I have several others to go through first, but I would absolutely repurchase this. And another mascara I have. This is the Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes. This is the one with a double ended. <clears throat> I was not crazy about this. I don't know. I didn't think it did really anything spectacular with my lashes. I wasn't crazy about really about the formula. Um, it is one of the slightly better ones. I mean, I have, I have tried worse from the drugstore, but I probably would not repurchase this one. Next up, I have the Macadamia Natural Oral Deep Repair Mask. I'm sure you guys know if you watch any 
anybody on YouTube. Ooh, there's a hair in there. Yeah, um, this is like the holy grail tape repair mask, deep conditioner. I use this, um, like once a week or once every, uh, week and a half. It is amazing. It's the only thing that I don't like about it is the price. But, um... Sometimes you just have to pay a little bit more for, you know, really good stuff. And I definitely love this stuff. I love the way it makes my hair feel. And I will continue to repurchase it. Next up, I have a, a deodorant. This is the Secret Clinical Strength Deodorant. I sweat a lot. And sweat smells. And that sucks. So, yeah. I like this stuff. And I'm going to keep repurchasing it. And then next up, I have another mascara. This is the Maybelline The Rocket. I think with this mascara, there are like, there aren't any, there aren't any, there isn't any middle ground between this mascara. People either like love it, like they're obsessed with it, holy grail, or people absolutely hate it. And I'm definitely on the hate it side. I did not like it. I thought the formula was dry. I do not like the brush. I just, I'm not a fan, so I will not be, re be, be repurchasing that. My words are like super crazy today. All right. This is the Dollar General um, Eye Serum. This is supposed to be the comparable to the the Olay Serum. Not the one I showed before, but like the actual like pump serum. I wasn't crazy about this. I didn't think there was anything special about it. I didn't make my under eyes feel any better than they usually do. I didn't see any change. So yeah, I definitely... I'm not going to get that again. <coughs> Next up, this is so dirty. Uh, this is the um, Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple body spray. Absolute oh, favorite spray in the world. Favorite scent in the world. I love the Winter, Cap Winter Candy Apple line. My gosh. And yeah, this is actually the one from not 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 2013, the year before, 2012, the bottle. Um, yeah, I usually buy like six of them when they're out around Christmas so that I have enough to last me for the year. So yeah. Um, I absolutely love this. I will continue to repurchase it. I hope it never goes out. They never discontinue it because I will probably like go online and buy 50 of them. So I never have to run out. Yes, I will repurchase this. Next up we have the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. And this is um Basically, um, I used it, like, for my neck and my brow. It's supposed to sort of, the areas that tend to, like, sag. So, yeah, I did, I did really like this. Um, it smells like skincare, so nothing, uh, nothing special. Um, I probably would not repurchase it because I didn't see, like, a huge difference. And since I ran out of it, I haven't seen, like, any sagging or anything. So, um, and it is pricey, especially, I mean, you can get it at Target, but still, it's pricey. So, I probably wouldn't purchase that. Next up, I actually have two. These are the uh, Proactive Green Tea Moisturizers. It's like the last step. And the Proactive line, I absolutely love this, mo this moisturizer. It is so fresh and light and just, it makes my face just feel clean and just, oh, I love it. Um, I, I use this um, when I get out of the shower or after I do a face mask. And I absolutely love it and I will continue to repurchase this. Um, I have the Maybelline a Instant Age Rewind. Um, this is the um, the concealer in light. I honestly expected this to not really blow my mind, but I really like it. Um, people are saying it's comparable to the um, the Mac Pro Longwear, and I definitely sort of agree with that. I think that it is comparable, but I don't think it's better. But I mean. If you're, you know, it's between, you know, spending $18 on a concealer or $6 on a concealer, obviously, this is your best bet. I mean, it does work very well, and I really like it. I have another one right now. I actually have two other ones, and I have the brightener one. And yeah, I really like this, and I will repurchase it. Next up, I have another mascara. Gosh, I go through so many mascaras. Anyway, this is the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. Um, yeah, I got this several months ago, last year, um, I really did like this, this, I got it in just one, da, 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 it's, it's in I Love Black, which is the, I think it's the blackest one, um, I really did like this, I thought that it really did coat my lashes really well, it made them, um, lengthen, volume, and I definitely would consider repurchasing this in the future once I use up, like, all 15 of the new mascaras that I got for Christmas. Okay, the next thing I have is another um, Lush item. This is the American Cream Air Conditioner. This is just the 3.3 ounce little itty-bitty one. I love this conditioner. Um, it 
is one of like the, pretty much the only conditioner. Well, Lush kind of specializes in this, but it's one of those conditioners that your hair will still smell good two days later. It's not one of those conditioners that you wash out, the smell's gone. Or you get out of the shower, the smell's gone. You blow dry your hair, it's gone. No, two days later, I still smell this on my pillow. It's amazing. Yes, I will definitely repurchase this. This is the Olay, um, this, sorry, it's so dirty, Total Effect 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Daily Moisturizer. Love this moisturizer. Um... I, this is what I, I did use in the morning. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I love the way it felt. I love the way it made my face feel. And the only reason I have not repurchased it yet is because for Christmas I got um, a Philosophy face cream that I'm trying to use up. Because it's, it, is, it is a pricey one as well. But once that is used up, I definitely will repurchase this. Next up, I actually have, this is just one of the um, Bath & Body Works candles. This is the Harvest Coffee. I... Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, I this I only put in one hair because um I think because my birthday isn't like my birthday's in August and I know for my birthday I got a bunch of candles and then I got some for the Christmas season and then I got some um during the semi annual sale. So I think between um now, January and and past August, I think I burned up about sixteen bath and butter candles and that is not an exaggeration. I use up these candles like crazy. I have one right now in my bedroom frosted cupcake I have one in my living room and then I have one in my kitchen so that's why they go so fast because I have three going at all times basically so yeah absolutely love these I will continue this is like the best candles I've ever used I will continue to repurchase those next up I have is the Suki face Exfoli ooh, exfoliating foaming cleanser this is like the lemon scent I got this in back when I was subscribed to like glossy box or something I was not crazy about this um the only reason I used it was because it was there, but I really, I'm not a lemon scent person. I don't really like lemon scented things, so I won't repurchase it. I won't repurchase that. Oh, I did put another candle here. I didn't even see it. Anyway, this is the Frosted Cup Liquid. This is my favorite scent, like, period, from Bath & Body Works. Um, and then I have two, um, yes, two facial toilets. One is the Blueberry, and the other one is the Cucumber. Absolutely, absolutely love these. I use these every single day. Um, they're like amazing. They don't, they don't irritate my skin whatsoever. Um, I don't use them to take off my makeup. I just use them to refresh my face. And I absolutely will continue to repurchase them because I have never found anything that's better. Um, okay, next thing is the Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. And obviously I used this at night. Um, I did really like it. I felt like it was maybe just slightly on the oily side. But, which really doesn't make a difference because I use oils at night now anyway. But, yeah, I did like this. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it wasn't anything, like, spectacular. But I did like it. Next up we have um, the Luscious Tea Tree Water Toner. Absolute favorite toner in the world. I use this every single day, twice a day. Um... It's just the best toner, basically. It's so light, so natural, it's so fresh, refreshing, and I absolutely will continue to purchase this. Oh, more mascaras. This is the benefits that are real. Yes, this is my Holy Grail mascara. I have one right now, and when I run out, I will be repurchasing it. Oh, no, more mascaras. Oh, there's another They're Real in there. And here is the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express. I can't really remember if I like this or not. I'm pretty sure that I liked, I know I liked it better than the Rocket. And, um, I think it was this one, and the, I don't know if I have the cat eyes on or if I used it up. But, um, I think I like this one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, but, um, I think as if I can't remember if I liked it or not, then obviously it didn't blow my mind, you know? So, I probably won't repurchase it. And the next thing I have is a Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. I am in the shade 2.0. I absolutely love this stuff. It's perfect. It's what I'm wearing today. It's just very light, but uh, I don't. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your face. But it's got surprisingly good, really good coverage. Um, yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but I mean, I really like it. I have one right now, and I probably and I think I'm about like down here on that, and I probably will repurchase it again because I really, I just like it. Next up, I have a It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is the leave-in conditioner. This is just the regular straight-up one. I love this. Um, I've been using it for years, and um, 
I use it every time I get out of the shower, my hair's wet, and yeah, I will definitely repurchase it. Next up I have, this is the, just an itty bitty one fluid ounce of the Purity from Philosophy. Love, love, love this face wash. I have literally, like, you know, like the, the giant tubs with the pump in my bathroom and the main bathroom. Absolutely love this. Um, this is like the best face wash. It's so gentle on my crazy sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate me at all and it's just amazing and I will definitely, if I ever run out of those giant tubs in like 10 years, I will repurchase it. And I have another little small professional product, which we already talked about. I have a, um, this is just a very small, I think this is the one ounce, or maybe even smaller. Um, Josie Marin Argan Oil. Absolutely love this stuff. This is what I use at night um, for my nighttime moisturizer. I just feel like it works so much better than any creams. Um, I have several bottles of this in my bathroom, and when I do run out, I will definitely repurchase it. And another oil I have, this is the uh, Maracuja oil from Tarte. I got this in a little set. Um, I did really like this. Um, I liked it, but I didn't like it more than the Josie Marin. So, I probably won't repurchase it. And another thing from Tarte. I got this, I, I think I got it in the same sample set. This is the uh, Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. I did like this. Um... I think the only reason that I have not repurchased it is because it's expensive. I really did like the consistency. Um, it didn't irritate me or anything. Um, I didn't particularly see like a brightening effect, but um, I did really like it, and I would repurchase it if it ever goes on sale, like significantly. And then the last thing, of course, this is the Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. This is like the biggest fail. Ugh. I don't want to say it's a, well, it is kind of is a fail. I bought this because I've heard several people that I watch on YouTube religiously talk about how this is their holy grail lip balm. They can't live without it. It's amazing. It's incredible. So when they were having their um, friends and family sale for Sephora 20% off, I figured, well, this is the time to buy a luxury item. This is why you don't give in to peer pressure. It is not good. And it's not so much that it's not good, it's just that it's not good for the crazy expensive price that I paid for it. I honestly think that, I don't have it now, but those the Nivea lip butters are better than these. I mean, I did like these. I felt they were like nice and thick and coating of the lips, but for what I spent on it, I would absolutely not. I probably would not spend half as much as I spent on this. I really think that if you want the same type of product, go with the Nivea Lip Butter. It's They have one that's basically like the raspberry one. Actually, oh look, it's one right here. The Raspberry Rose. This is basically the same thing. Just like slightly, ooh, excuse me, slightly thinner. But seriously, I'm pretty sure this is like two, three dollars, and I don't even know, but it was definitely like twenty something dollars, which is we freaking ridiculous. So I absolutely would not repurchase this, but I mean, if somebody gave it to me for you, obviously I'm going to use it because it was, I love lip products because I have really extremely dry lips, but I definitely would not repurchase this. Okay, that is it. We have finally come to the end of this bag. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe, like this video, and comment below letting me know what videos you would like to see from me in the future. I have a list of my own, but I really want this channel to be something that people watch just to, um, to be happy. I don't know. I think that's kind of corny, but, like, I really want to make videos that I like seeing from other people. Like, I personally love seeing people's empties. Um, I love hauls, which I'm going to do next. Stay tuned for that. Um, I love get ready with me videos. I love get unready with me videos. So just comment below. It can be one video. It can be two videos. It can be 12 videos. Just let me know what you want to see for me. Um, and I will definitely, definitely keep it in mind when I'm filming my next video. And, um, yeah, just let me know what you thought of this. Um, you have any suggestions, any comments, um, on my awkwardness or my speech impediments that kept coming up during this. I'm sorry, I have really bad allergies. That's why it's, um, <coughs> my throat's weird. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much this means to me. This has been a long time coming. I'm finally doing this. So, yeah, please, um, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!